you know, there's some things that just boggle my mind. Wireless charging on phones. I forgot what the other thing is. Anyways, <coughs> let's say hypothetically you were to get a box from Navistar Tools, Navistar Incorporated. Now when I say this, first of all, I'm not scared to put my address on here. It's work address, but they don't put your name on there. It sa literally says add appropriate shipping name to address. It's okay, they, they didn't do that. It caused a little bit of confusion because we do order some Navistar stuff. Anyways, <clears throat> this is from the Regulatory Compliance Department. I'm sure you're saying David's. What's, what's this got to do with international? <laughs> Fuel cap. Still under recall for internationals and farm malls. I filled it out for my 1948C, my 1953 or 54 Super C, and my 74 International Cub. You go to I, what is it, ihgascap.com. You're going to be sure your tractor's on it. And you're going to basically fill out your name, address, and serial numbers. They say it takes six to eight weeks to get it. I got them in like two weeks. Now, working in the service industry, recalls always have directions and stickers to show stuff's been up dated and this and that and the other. This kit actually comes with the sticker and instructions. <clears throat> it says the installation of double tang fuel cap. Your new fuel cap will fit all international harvester gasoline and diesel farm tractors that vent fuel vapors through a hole in the cap. This provides additional protection. Blah, 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 blah. And then it's got two install, which I'm pretty sure all of us can install a gas cap. But the thing is, and I wondered why these were so much taller. I mean, that's, shoot, two and a half inches tall. Um, the cap removed... The cap is removed much like a radiator cap. After shutting off the engine, it allows it to cool. Turn the cap counterclockwise until it fills loose. At this point, any excess um, gasoline vapors will be released. Stop at a moment, blah, 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 to continue turn off to remove. Then it says to install the other one. This actually says this is for any lawn and garden tractors in the Cub Cadet models series. And it shows where to put the sticker. I think it's neat that these are still available. And I would assume that it's not so much for our safety as the end user of said international harvester. But the fact that they probably... I mean, I, I had no, no concept of how many of these tractors are out there. Millions, maybe, by now? Shoot, they've been doing them since, you know, the 30s and 40s. And I'm assuming they made 475 million of these. And they just got an, a ridiculous abundant amount that they're getting rid of. Either that or it is an active safety recall, which, you know, most of those rarely ever expire. I wonder what the date is on this. Printed in the USA, January 1981, and then revised 12 in 1987. So this is all from the 80s. Now, even though this says Navistar, this original sheet, oh, it's going to be backwards, that's devastating, is the Case Corporation. So it's been around for a while. I don't know. What do y'all think? Anyways, I highly recommend you all doing this you know and some people say oh you know my tractor's 70 years old and it hadn't burst into flames yet no it hasn't 
But something like this that is 100% free, they even cover the shipping. Why would you risk it? You know, put it on there and roll on with it. It's just neat. Doesn't necessarily boggle the mind, but I think that all y'all should know if you have a Farm All or International, there's a whole slew of tractors at the IHGasCap.com that will, uh, <clears throat> you know, tell you if your tractor's the model there, which I think most of them are. But pretty cool, pretty cool. They're still keeping up with it. Just kind of wanted to share with it. Anyways, you guys be good and be safe, and we'll catch you next time.